Hi, as you can see, I've already prepared the models that we're going to use. This is a tutorial about how to use deep paint and blender animation techniques, so there won't be any modeling. These models are somewhat rough. I didn't spend too much time refining them, but they meet my expectations for the final result. Also, you can use deep paint while modeling instead of preparing all models beforehand like I did. Feel free to unleash your imagination and create whatever you like. Make sure you have installed Deep Paint add-on and let's get started. First, go to Global Settings and click Add World, add in Dip Piece Semite, switch to Render Viewport, and make sure you're using the EB Engine. Next, locate the DPM, apply it to all your models, and give them base color and outline. Now, let us use DPM Text, which is for painting textures. Go to Texture, then click DPM Text. When using it, make sure you've opened the Shader Editor window. Click here to add a painting texture to the DPM Text, or you can click Add Text. Both options work the same. However, this is where issues commonly arise. As we can see, when we create a new texture, it somehow appears twice. This is why I insist on keeping the shader editor open to monitor what did happening, otherwise it is easy to run into problems. Additionally, make sure to change the multiply to mix to enable painting. Experiment with the different brushes to find the one that works best for your needs. For this example, I tried using different brushes and colors to create the water surface effect I wanted. Here is a cool trick. Deep Paint Add World creates a completely white environment. If you use a transition brush to paint the edges white, it blends into the distant background super useful. What I'm going to show you about DPM text is really important. I had two cubes, cube 1, which I had already painted using DPM text, and cube 2, which I was about to paint. Why did cube 1 change when I started painting cube 2? It because both cubes were using the same one DPM text. You've noticed a small 2 in the shader editor indicating that the same texture is being shared between the two objects. While this might seem like a minor issue, if you don't save the texture you painted on cube 1, you'd lose it forever due to this overt. That exactly what happened to me. I lost a fully painted texture because I did save it. Not even Blender Undo will bring it back. The texture is gone for good. So, always save your texture after painting it and make it a habit to click the copy button next to the DPM text whenever you start painting a new object. Do not repeat my mistake. Next, let us paint the leaves. Press E, select add blank, and enter draw mode. 
Then press S and select the spray to brush. This brush is magical. Dune perfect for painting leaves. Once I had the shape of the leaves done, I wanted smoother color transitions. Select tint to adjust the colors of the leaves. You don't need to convert them, you can adjust the colors directly. At this stage, we'll keep the leaves as grease pencil objects and won't convert them to a mesh. Otherwise, you will lose everything you see now. Now, let me show you the mistake I made. Get your popcorn ready. I wanted to add a DPM text to the mountain, but in doing so, I accidentally overwrote the water texture I had just painted. After that point, After I closed my computer, my computer, screamed for a while, for a while and then repainted, and then repainted the, water the water surface from scratch. Water. I believe now you understand why using cubes to illustrate the example of DPM text is important. After that, I painted the sky. Make sure to go to Deep Paint, Utility, click Sky Paint, and activate the selection button next to it. This allows you to paint the sky using vertex painting. I also added some vegetation, scattered leaves on the tiles, placed flowers on the boat, and made other adjustments until I was satisfied with the result. Now we're moving on to animation since our leaves are separate objects. We can use Deep Paint Tree Gin. Instead, I used a lattice modifier to animate the leaves. Press Shift A to create a new lattice, scale it up to cover all the leaves, and in the lattice's properties, increase the resolution values. Add a lattice modifier to the leaves, and in the object, select the lattice. Select the lattice, enter edit mode, and select all the vertices. Go to the top left menu, choose lattice, transform, randomize. It might look messy, but that turned exactly what we need. Now hide the lattice from view. The lattice is still selected, so you can move it and see how it affects the leaves. Looks like they're blowing in the wind, right? To animate the lattice, move it to the left at timeline, frame 1. Press I to keyframe its position, then move it to the right at frame 500, and press I again to keyframe. Copy these two keyframes throughout the timeline to create continuous movement, simulating a constant wind effect. This method can also be applied to other models, like red lanterns, really versatile. Next, let us make the water surface move. Select the plane, go to the modifiers tab, and add a physics ocean modifier. The surface already has some waves, but they are too strong. Go to the waves and lower the scale value. Now, at the timeline, on frame one, Click the small dot next to time in the Ocean Modifier panel to keyframe it. Move to the end of the timeline, adjust the time value, and keyframe it again. Play it back and you'd see the water moving. Tweak the other values to get the effect you want. Finally, I made the boat move with the waves. First select the flowers on the boat, then select the boat itself. Press Ctrl P and choose Object to parent them together. After that, just keyframe the boat rising and falling motion on the timeline. Copying the keyframes across the entire animation, it is a bit tedious, but it works. Lastly, I added falling leaves. I've already covered this in another tutorial, which also includes more tips on using deep paint. Check it out if you are interested. All right, we've done. Thank you for watching. More tutorials and other are on the way. See you next time.